Hello guys, in this video we'll learn about cow clone on right smart pointer in Rust. So cow clone on right is one of Rust's smart pointers and it helps you avoid cloning an object unless it's necessary. Basically it helps you optimize your program for memory by reducing the number of allocation in terms helps you achieve a higher performance for your Rust code. In this video we'll write a very basic program with and without cow and we'll do benchmarking and you'll be surprised to see how much the performance improves by using cow. So let's get started. So first of all make sure you are in a nice and clean cargo package. Move to man and here we'll just write a very basic program. Let's say we have a function known as replace special and we pass a borrowed str and we return and string and here we do if input dot uh, contents let's say jack then we try to replace jack with uh, let's say david and return as it is but if that's not the case then we return input dot to string to convert it into the returnable type so this is just a very basic code and here we add uh, input which is let's say uh, hey I'm Jack and output in this case we just call replace special and we pass our input so we just print our output and now just stick around and try to understand this so we do cargo run as you can see, as we expect, this prints, hey, I'm David, because it replaced Jack with David. In this case, it goes to this side. But what about those cases when it doesn't go to the first if and goes to the else? So let's say uh, we send, hey, I am a semicolon. And we run this. As you can see, it just returns from the else. Now, if we try to go into a string, and see its implementation for str as you can see what it does is as you can see this is a str and we see the implementation is basically creating a new string from whatever we return uh, the chunk that we uh, input so basically it's allocating the memory and it's basically creating a new memory block and returning us that so it's adding uh, extra allocation so to understand cow we'll just copy all of this and we'll name it let's say replace special with cow so everything the conditions and everything remains the same we'll just add cow and str so cow comes from standard borrow cow and we'll just say replaced and here we'll just say cow on and replace and in this case we'll just say cow and borrowed input so basically we don't do any allocation here and here we do the allocation so now let's say it says hey i'm semicolon and we run the same code replace with cow and open our terminal we run this as you can see the output is same similarly if it says hey i'm jack hey i'm david it replaces and returns so the output basically remains the same but what we do is we don't do any allocations when it's not jack basically when it doesn't go to this side we don't do any allocation we just return cow str as it is and we can also check if the output is borrowed or so on so what we can do is match output and here we can just do is cow borrowed and here we'll just say is borrowed and similarly in case of ref we'll just say is on 
So let's run this. So we run this. As you can see, in the case when it's jack, we go this side and it's on as you can see. Similarly, if we run with a um, uh, maybe semicolon, there you go, it's borrowed. So basically, we don't do any allocations. And this saves the memory, which will again prove using benchmarking. So I hope you understand the concept. Now let's go ahead and do the benchmarking for this. So for benchmarking, first of all, move to the project explorer and in the root of your project, at the benches directory and inside at the uh, rest module. So I'll name it as benchmark.rs and then move to cargo terminal. Now here we don't need dependencies. We just need dev dependency at criterion with latest version and then bench at name of the file so for me it's bench mark you can add the name whatever is the name of your benchmark file or module and then harness as false to use all the metrics from criterion and then once the project is ready move to benchmark so first of all here we'll copy the functions that we have so let's use them so we have replace and replace special with cow and then we'll add uh, the benchmark fn so fn benchmark so c and mutable criterion let input Let's say uh, we'll add the input that goes first to the else site. Or let's add first the input that goes to the if site so we can compare for that and then we'll compare for the else. So we'll just add I am uh, jack c dot bench function and we'll name it as uh, cow vs normal let's say and bench so here we'll just do bench dot iter and first of all we'll just call the replace special and black box the input after this we'll just add the group so we'll just do criterion group benches and benchmark and then we'll just do criterion man benches so that's all that we need for benchmarking now first of all let's run this one as you can see we first of all calling replace special to set up the baseline so open your terminal and just do cargo bench okay so by now the baseline is set we'll just go back and in case instead of this we'll just use replace special with cow with the same input everything else remains the same let's go to the terminal and run okay as you can see even in the normal case it says performance has improved okay now let's use the the other way so in, instead of using um check which we are looking for here let's use i am uh, debit or let's use I am A B C D and here in, instead of cow is normal one we'll just do uh, one just to change and just to add a new baseline so replace special first of all and let's go back to terminal clear it Okay, so baseline is set. Now we go to the 
code again and here instead of calling replace special let's call replace special with cow so basically we go this side we go this side in this case we would have done lots of allocation now let's run this okay so as you guys can clearly see it says performance has improved that clearly means that the code that has cow is outperforming the normal code even in this literally basic piece of code very basic piece of code but imagine the large program and uh, softwares that we write how could how much the difference this small change can make so try to use in your code and let me know how do you think about this uh, cow i also have my discord link in the description so make sure you join we do a lot of discussions there and let the continue let continue the learning that's it thank you